Hey guys, we're downstairs in the basement at Shelby's house. We're going to do a furnace replacement, potentially an air conditioner as well. We'll pull this furnace out. We'll set our new furnace back in the same location. Put a new coil on top of the furnace. Rebuild a new plenum up into the ductwork. Flue pipe, if we do an 80%, we'll stay pretty much the same. Let's do a new 6x5x4 by five by four swivel tee and rebuild back down to the water heater and to the furnace. Return drop's going to get replaced. We'll bump our return drop over, probably do a 10 by 26 Put our 5-inch media cabinet in. That furnace is going to go up on top of a base. Uh, refrigerant lines will get flushed and pressure tested. They go above hard ceiling. They're back here. Um, and not quite sure where they run out from here. Oh. It looks like the air conditioner. Maybe that's an old air conditioner. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but actually, the refrigerant lines run straight out to the outside that way. So if we needed to run new refrigerant lines, we could. It almost might be easier to just cut those and pull them and run new lines out. Um, right there. We just have to fill the hole in the siding. I'll look at them outside. Um, new humidifier will get mounted over to this return side. Drain lines from the system run right over here to a floor drain. So that's where they, where they will run. And there's another drain right there, it looks like. So either or. Uh, electrical's all up to code. Goes up to that junction box there. And breaker panels over here in the corner, two pull 30 amp breaker for the air conditioner. That should be everything. Oh, if we do a high efficiency system, I'm not sure where we're going to run our vent line yet. I imagine this goes, uh, that's the exterior wall, so I'll have to look at, at where everything's at. Um, but we will more than likely be able to come out of the top of the furnace and go straight out. Um, up here and go straight out to the outside through one of these joists. Um, or if we need to, we can jump over and cut through the band board here to go to this side of the house. I'll try to figure out where's what's what. And that's it. All right, guys, here's our outdoor unit. We're going to set our new unit down on top of a new pad, new disconnect box, an electrical whip, flush and pressure test the line set. I don't want to cut another hole inside of the siding. Um, we're going to bring our exhaust and intake out through this old panel here, that metal sheet that's on the wall. Um, so we'll just punch right through that. Right here in the middle. Let's cover that in some sheet metal. Um, or we can go up above that. It doesn't matter to me, either through the band board or through that piece of metal. That's an old air conditioner or something that was going through the wall. Maybe a package unit, who knows. Um, that's pretty much everything on the outside. There's a gate right here to get the equipment in. There's also a gate on the other side of the property, but seems to be pretty straightforward.